Hello, my name is Ryan Wilcox, and I'm going to take a few minutes today and show you my Rails workflow for BBEdit. Uh, in the upcoming months, I'm going to release a package for Rails programming in BBEdit, which will include all these tools. Uh, but for now, I'm going to give you a teaser and also show you uh, publicly available tools that will make your Rails programming life uh, much easier. Uh, I'm a recent uh, TextMate convert back to BBEdit. I used BBEdit for about five years before moving to TextMate for about three years and now I'm back in BBEdit. Uh, and there's a lot of things from TextMate that I miss and have had to duplicate in BBEdit. Uh, and I'll show you some of these uh, in this screencast. Uh, so here we are in a typical uh, Rails application. Uh, we have I've generated the Rails application and generated the scaffold for a simple blog application. Uh, here I am in the post controller and what I would love to do is be able to use BBEdit's open um, counterpart um, functionality to go to the test for this file. I have created a text filter to do just that. I, um, I create a Rails uh, in Emacs mode line uh, for each file uh, set with some sane Rails defaults. Um, and this is good in general um, because it, any editor which respects Emacs mode lines will make sure there's a consistent style in your Rails app so everybody in team isn't mixing spaces and tabs and uh, if that happens it becomes a mess. Uh, so it's a good idea in general. Uh, but uh, BBEdit has, you can set the counterpart um, in the Emacs mode line, which, we, which my filter has done here. I do option command up arrow, which I've set to open counterpart, and I go to the test. If I create the Emacs mode line here, excuse that debugging, I will go back to the controller. And so I can open counterpart all I want, and it just works. Um, this makes uh, some of the navigation that you have to do in a Rails project uh, really, really, really easy. Uh, this script is available on my GitHub repository now, uh, rwilcox slash bbedit rails filters. It's the Rails Emacs mode filter. Uh, so that's publicly available now if you want to try that out. Uh, so another thing that I found was um, I missed things from BBEdit like Command Shift T, which is open symbol. Here I bound it to the uh, function pop-up in BBEdit. This is a very simple thing to do: uh, menus and shortcuts to navigation bar to open function menu. It doesn't work exactly like uh, BBEdit's uh, Command Shift T but it's pretty good. Uh, I also have to applaud BBEdit uh, bare bones at this point for um, the new open file by name window uh, which I have bound to command T. Uh, this is something available in the at this uh, recording um, pre-release versions of BBEdit but it's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, previously I was using an app from PeepCode called peep open uh, which was okay um, peep open has the advantage of being available for textmate and macvim and emacs and pretty much anything else under the sun it has a disadvantage however of being pretty slow but if i here in the bb edit one i just type post and i see all the things about post um, this is this is a Rails 3.1 sample app, so even the CoffeeScript file shows up, which is great. I just hit return, and here I am in the host uh, model. Uh, hosts, helper, controller, whatever. And we're back. We're back to the controller. Um, that is pretty awesome. Good job. Absolutely fabulous functionality right there. Uh, the other thing that helped me in my transition was uh, 
the Rails 3.0 dictionary. So what this does is it adds a uh, dictionary.app dictionary for Rails terminology. Uh, for example, I have set it up. So I hit command shift uh, dash and it will open up the uh, dictionary app with the documentation right there. Um, BBA does this uh, by default or BBA has a symbol lookup a documentation lookup functionality by default uh, but it uses RI and I much prefer the formatting of, of the Rails documentation in BBEdit. Again, you can get this uh, dictionary from this URL here, PRIIHammer.com slash blog slash Rails 3 dictionary update. Uh, it's been around for a while, I think since Rails 2.3. Uh, so uh, there's also versions available for jQuery. Uh, and as you can see, uh, regular old Ruby. Um, so I've loaded my dictionary.app up with those three dictionaries, and that's really, really been helpful. Uh, how I've done that is again gone back into the um, preferences, into the languages, Ruby. Uh, you may have to add. Uh, a customization using this pop-up menu. And here is the reference URL template to use. Dictionary colon slash slash under under symbol name under under. And that'll use Mac OS X's URL and uh, open up dictionary.app. Uh, and, and that's all you need to do to get much better formatting than the built-in um, BBEdit way of using RI. So I think that concludes uh, this screencast. Um, stay tuned for more screencasts explaining more of the functionality of my uh, Rails workflow for BBEdit, in addition to some teasers for my Rails bundle for BBEdit. Thank you very much. Goodbye.